Baylor had started 14 and 0. They're two and three in their last five, but coming off a win as the tip is gobbled up by Aaliyah Moore for Texas. Here's Booker out there with Shea Holly as well, Taylor Jones, and Shaylee Gonzalez. Moore looking for Booker, who has been operating at the point since the injury to Rory Harmon, and a tie up here, and Baylor will have possession. Take a look at the Baylor starting lineup. Sarah Andrews, Jada Walker, Asia Blackwell, Little Page Bugs, and Dre Edwards, the Kentucky transfer, sat out last season, having a nice year this year for Baylor. The crossover here from Edwards. The pass deflected, settles with Blackwell. Back to Edwards. Edwards, little bunny will drop, and Moore comes in for the rebound. Both teams starting out in man-to-man, -man, and both coaches thought their posts, for different reasons, had the advantage on the offensive end. Baylor doesn't have a lot of size to compete with inside. Here's Moore lining up a three, missed it right and long. Kept alive, though, for Texas by Holly. Here's Jones turning, can't finish. Moore, the putback won't go. It stays alive on the top of the glass, but then settles with Baylor. Swiftly down the floor, there is Walker. Baylor did a good job getting scores out in transition using Walker's quickness. Walker nearly comes up with a steal. Here's Booker, who is playing on that injured hamstring, and they turn it over. Vic Schaefer in his fourth season at Texas, and Nikki Collin in her third season at Baylor after coaching the Atlanta Dream in the WNBA. Coach Schaefer has taken Texas to a couple of Elite Eights already. Walker throws it away. Holly on the steal. Shea, not Rowe. <laughs> Here's Booker hooking it up and off, but gets the whistle. Now, we talked about Madison Booker. 20 and a half points, 47% for the floor, and then the rebounds and the assist. Andrews called for the screen from Edwards. Dumps it underneath. Little Page Bugs couldn't grab it. And Texas comes up with a steal. Sort of a sloppy start for both teams. Holly. Dumps it into Jones. Jones doubled. Finds the cutter. It's more on the finish. Andrews a deep three. No. Rebound. Squirts out to Holly. Shaley Gonzalez. Played point the other day with Madison Booker out with a hamstring injury. Here's Moore bodying into Edwards. Moore ducks in, finishes. If you talk to anyone around this program, and they have raved about the way that Coach Harmon has stayed involved despite her injury, tearing her ACL. As Edwards throws it away and back to Texas. Rebecca, maybe at this point in the season we've been talking about them as one of the two or three favorites to win a national championship. They certainly look like one when we saw them compete against early, UConn earlier this season. And to defend back to man to man because Dre Edwards can pull Jones outside to the perimeter, can pick and pop, pick and roll. That might be a challenge for Jones. We'll see it here. Already four turnovers from Baylor. And that is going to be a charge. Five turnovers now. For Baylor, that's the first foul on Blackwell. Booker's pull up, and she got the whistle. Pro career, she is crazy smart. So has the strength to hold on to the basketball when she does. When it comes to the clock, Andrews. Oh, there's the handle of Fonleroy, but another turnover from Baylor. That Texas defense applying all kinds of pressure. Gonzalez can't hit the three. Rebound, Jones muscled it away, but then a held ball. That will be unveiled on 218 Brittany Griner Day, and she said, I am so honored to come back and share so many great memories where my career started. Of course, she was a national champion, two-time Wooden Award winner, number one overall pick, but I might remind people, it used to be like Caitlin Clark is now. A lot of people used to come out on the road just to see Brittany Griner. She was one of the pioneers in getting people interested on women's basketball. She was a trendsetter.
Never saw anyone play like her before or since. Her size, her power, her ability with the two-handed dunk. She's just a game changer. Here's Andrews knocking down a three, a much-needed bucket for Baylor. Simply Baylor needs to just take care of the basketball better. It's been a lot of turnovers so far in this first quarter, and Texas has been able to score off of them. Jay Holly dishes off to Gonzalez. Back to Booker. The freshman Booker stops, fades. Oh, the touch. Looks like she's probably caught her second win, though. Yeah. Deanna Gaston into the game for Texas as that jumper goes down. Mariana Little Page Bugs, another one of those 11 point scores. Her first personal. The three is good. Gaston also still not all the way healthy. Booker that time didn't have the angle, knocked out of bounds. And it's going to be Texas Baylor basketball. A women's college basketball is featured on ESPN2 Sunday. Three top 25 matchups. Noon Eastern. Number 17, Virginia Tech takes on number 24, UNC. Then at two with South Carolina and Ole Miss. Finally, Pac-12, UCLA, Stanford. Top 25 women's college basketball at noon, two and four Eastern on ESPN2 and the app as Baylor continues to cook now in the latter parts of this first. Yeah, you see Yaya Felder. She is so strong, explosive, gets inside. She's feeling good about it. Well, you actually did see her in high school, didn't you? She, when she was a senior and my second oldest was a freshman. Um, a 10-0 Baylor run. Two-second difference game in shot clock. Booker across her body can't get it to drop out of bounds to Baylor eight and a half seconds left to be smart for Baylor make sure to there wind this clock <laughs> <laughs> Baylor started one of five from the floor they're five of six since to the corner catch fire no for Fondleroy the follow can't go and that'll do it sharing the basketball when they can get layups in transition and make shots from the perimeter they are difficult to stop little page bugs tosses it away taken by shea holly here's booker look pretty good on the hamstring you heard coach Schaefer talking about her going too early with her shot there's just a slight difference game in shot clock at the end of that first jones Gets the whistle. It's going to be another offensive foul. And it's number two on Taylor Jones. Seven turnovers from Texas. Eight from Baylor. In the corner, that three is good. Gonzalez with three to shoot. Not sure she knows it. Now we'll let it fly. Barely got it on the rim. And Edwards, the rebound. It has been a while since Texas has scored. Walker can hit back iron no loose ball picked up and put in were you, who are you riding with <laughs> I, I was just i was just mon monitoring for my two-year-old daughter monitoring <laughs> baylor on a 15-0 run texas hasn't scored in nearly seven minutes and finally they have uh, here's walker cuts through kicks out in the corner fritz Back iron, no. That was foul number two on Fauntleroy. Who checks out for Baylor and more. Gray Edwards has also been on the bench with two fouls. That's partially blocked. Controlled by Booker. Sarah Andrews had to step on her defender. She needed to keep penetrating into the paint there. Here's Booker. Booker keeps her dribble. Holly. Deep catch. Gaston banks it in. And that is going to be an offensive foul. Blackwell, Edwards, Fauntleroy all with two fouls now for Baylor. In a physical game as well. Always is going to be a physical game if Texas is involved. Yep. A big Schaefer calling card. 
Here's Muhammad storming through. Can't bank it in. More the put back. No good. And it's clawed away. Little Page Bugs, a ferocious rip away of the rebound. Andrews dumps it down. Little Page Bugs got hit. Finishes plus the foul. Dariana Little Page Bugs with a chance for three. You know, are they going to count the bucket? I'm not sure they are, Rebecca. And initially they indicated they would. But I believe that they are not going to. As in, in looking at the replay, I think that's the right call. I do not think she had started the try yet, which is the terminology they use on an attempt like that. Terrible terminology, but yes. Yeah. Right, right. In the pros Start you have of the try. In the pros you have on a drive, whether it's pre or post gather. On a shot you have whether it's starting the upward shooting motion. In college you have start of the try. Here's Moore, flips it in, deep position again from Texas. And Texas has taken the lead back after a 15-0 Baylor run. Texas on an 8-0 run and a chance for Moore. Here is Holly racing to the rim, lays it in, plus the foul. I mean, so much of this game has been about which team is turning the ball over and then how the other team is responding by getting points off of those turnovers. Outstanding job by Holly to finish and get the and one opportunity. The previous possession, we've seen Texas continue to post up deep, and Vic Schaefer told us, I've got four posts, I'm going to go down there all night, and they've had success doing that. That hits Felder, and it's going to stay with Texas. But today, both teams have been turning it over. Here's Moore, center of the lane, the turn, the flip, that is good. With pace up ahead, Felder can't finish. Rebound tipped away, Muhammad able to snare it. Under a minute to go in this first half. It has been a struggle offensively for both teams. Booker, pull up, he is good. Madison and executes the two for one. Vic Schaefer has to be happy about clock management on that possession. Yes. And so often at the college level, we see the two form ignored. So when it is executed, serious bonus. That three rattles in for Andrews right in front of the Texas bench. And Baylor ends the 14-0 run and the six-minute scoring drought with that three. So both teams with scoring droughts of six-plus minutes back-to-back. Three seconds left in the half. Muhammad bounces. Snared by Felder. She gets it off. And that'll do it for the first half. Texas, a 27-23 lead over Baylor. Just to button up the numbers. Four total threes, three-pointers made. Seven total charges taken wow. in that first half. So stay tuned. <laughs> Not many had that on their ESPN bet cards. No. Texas dropped the first meeting at home to Baylor in late December. Moore had a big first half. Here is Booker short. And off the rebound, Walker looking to push for Baylor. There's Walker wrapping into the lane. Nice setup and the finish from Trey Edwards. Gonzalez can't finish. Good box out underneath by Blackwell. Baylor controls. Here's Walker with some haste. Walker in the lane, lays it in. Nikki Collin urging the crowd to get rowdy. Booker can't bank it in, but then knocks it away. And a whistle here on Booker as we get to chat now live with Rory Harmon, the preseason Big 12 player of the year, was having an incredible season. Torn ACL, and now becoming a coach on that bench. Thanks for joining us, Rory. We appreciate it. Uh, thanks for having me. Rory, what has been your focus when it comes to a role you can still have with this team, even as you're not able to be out on the floor? 
Well, I was thinking about, I was just playing like a couple weeks ago, about a month ago, and so I still have a really good feel of what's going on, and uh, actually I can see things a lot better now that I'm on the bench, and I'm always going to say what I need to say because that's what I did when I was still playing, and I think even Coach Schaefer has asked me, he's like, continue to stay in my ear because you're very valuable to this team, and Madison and Shaley, like our point guards right now, need to hear a voice like mine. Rory, we see you over there charting things on the bench. What are your responsibilities during the game now? So I keep uh, our kills and stops on defense. So we get three stops in a row. We get one kill, and um, that's that's like defense. You know, Coach Schaefer loves his defense, and I'm trying to constantly yell out as much as possible, like, where we're at. Uh, we do it in practice, and it's something we take pride in. Thank you so much. So good to talk to you. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it, Rory. Speedy recovery. We look forward to seeing you back on the floor next season. Thank you very much. All right, that's Rory Harmon, one of the best players in the nation. There's a really good chance. Her assist to turnover ratio was absolutely ridiculous. Able to take care of the basketball. She could score. Her defense was 94 feet the whole time. Her help side defense next level. She's missed in so many ways. Dick Schaefer talked about that infectious energy from the way she guarded 94 feet. Is Booker great setup there for Taylor Jones? He's been a little more active in the early going here. Vic Schaefer talks about how good she is at catching the ball, keeping it high, and finishing. Edwards can't finish there on the reverse. Muhammad couldn't gather. The putback is the most by any Baylor player this year. We talked about how they have a very evenly distributed attack. Gonzalez from 16. Back iron, no. Rebound secured by Blackwell. Walker. Hey, that's a team that has been playing really well, even in the absence of Aoka Lee. We wishing her a speed. South Carolina, we know, has been by far and away the best team in the nation this season. In the Final Four, there's a number of them in the Pac-12 alone. Look about Stanford, now they've creeped up into the top four in the nation. Oh, nice fast break run there. They're a much different team when she is not on the floor. And Last weekend alone, there were four upsets. A really interesting finish to conference play and into champ week. And then the tournament where you're going to have a lot of teams who, that you look at and say, hey, they could lose maybe even opening weekend or end up in the final four. Yes. Booker, good delivery. Jones, nice finish. Andrews had a look, didn't take it. It squirts. Nearly away and then here in this third and really throughout the entire game. It's been a recipe of their success all season long. They average just under 43 points a game in the paint, which is third in the nation. I mean, look at that. Not a lot of balance from the perimeter. They've not made a three-point shot yet, but they've certainly been able to get inside into the paint. Good looks. I'm thinking back to the game we did for Texas against Connecticut. One of the things that was so impressive was the way they did shoot the three in that game and, and of course the player who sets up their best looks in the drive and kick game is Rory Harmon who they no longer have. Moore has done a really nice job in the interior who uh -huh. took a spill there slaps the floor has that brace on her left knee and is in a lot of pain as Booker comes down the other way wants to avoid her teammate and is going to take a timeout Moore just slapping the floor over and over again and Vic Schaefer with ankles is you know sometimes ones that look bad end up not so bad and sometimes yes. ones that look okay after the game maybe they end up a little worse we'll see how Moore ends up and anytime you have had an ACL injury you just do not want it to be that near yeah. again so Moore who had been the most effective offensive cog tonight for Texas goes out as Tonda squeezes that one in. A three-point Texas lead. Moore, by the way, at 14 points, seven rebounds. Straight on three. Banks in. <laughs> what a reaction from <laughs> Bella Fotleroy. Put her hand over her mouth like, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. When Fomeroy came in, things changed for Baylor in the first half as Booker rattles in the corner three. 
Remember, then when Fomleroy went back to the bench with her foul trouble, that is when Texas went on their run. Fomleroy was a plus 11 in that first half. Her team was down four at the half. Brooker, yeah. Texas doing a really nice job communicating both verbally and pointing on this defensive end when they're in the zone. A deep three from Andrews. Back iron, no. Rebound, Jones. Booker starting to get going a little bit with her own shot. One in Tonda. Space was messed up on the left wing for Booker, but it didn't matter because Muhammad found herself on Andrews, and Baylor needs a timeout. They've been able to withstand the loss of more. Out here, and here she is checking in at the scores table right now, showing some great grit and toughness in this big rivalry matchup. Oh, you are so right, Holly, and that is outstanding news for Texas as Moore is having a huge game. 7-0 run from Texas over the last minute and a half as Walker has it poked out of bounds. 13 to shoot here for Baylor. So Jones Gonzalez along with Shea Holly. Went in Tonda and more for Texas as Holly comes up with a steal. Really good under out of bounds defense by Texas there. See that UCLA Stanford game coming away Sunday. Meanwhile, Holly has five steals. And now Andrews picks up one of her own. Walker blurring ahead. Gets down from behind. Thought it was interesting when Nikki Collin was breaking down the difference in her guards. And she said, with Walker, she just plays. She just goes. With Sarah Andrews, it's a little bit more probing. She's reading a little bit more. And so they both bring a little something different and then with Felder it's a power and explosive athleticism different styles that each of her guards brings here's more bodies in and that is going to be a charge just boom Ooh, you got to cushion that blow a little bit more next time I mean I know because of all the charges I took right <laughs> as a player <laughs> Montmoroy a deep three, that one. And out of bounds to Texas, Holly. Well, when Vic Schaefer and his Mississippi State team were at the Final Four, his terrific guard, Morgan William, actually tried to teach Rebecca Lobo how to take a charge. <laughs> and I'm just going to say this, Rebecca, you do a lot of things well. That ain't one of them. <laughs> it was a lot. The floor was a lot closer to her when she was standing than it was to me. <laughs> that is I true. forgot about that, Holly. Wow. How about Madison Booker? Just found her spot. Felder's three doesn't go. Blackwell the rebound. Walker cutting in, kicking out. Fauntleroy can't hit the three. Knocked out of bounds to Texas. Straight on jumper from Jones rolls in. Taylor Jones with nine points in this third quarter, and it is a nine-point Texas lead. Loved Moore's patience on that offensive set. The double came. She just passed it out to her post teammate. Into the corner. Gathered by Blackwell. Shoes away her defender. Three seconds left in the quarter. Walker has to launch. Can't hit. And that'll do it for the third. A big one from Texas. Both teams have turned it over 14 times through three quarters. And will there be another one here? Yeah, there will. Felder probably had a pretty good rhythm look for the wing, too, as Booker banks it in, finding the angle. Madison Booker with 18 points. Texas had a four-point lead at the half. Felder missed it badly. Blackwell keeps it alive. Another chance here, Andrews knocks it down from three. A much needed triple. Jones can't finish it. Fights to get it back, does, and gets fouled. Taylor Jones having a huge second half. Will go to the line to shoot a pair. And Fauntleroy took a shot. Oh, yeah. To the nose. You don't want to say it's a quiet 18. 
especially in a game that hasn't had a lot of scoring. But it's been so seamless, and it's felt it's been, so it not has forced. Been quiet. Yeah. Yes, it's a, it, it's amazing how smoothly and efficiently she can operate. And I think part of that is her demeanor. She just goes about her business, doesn't do a whole Now Andrews. Thing. Off to Van Guyton Beek. And that'll tilt into the backcourt for another Baylor turnover. That will be their 16th of the night as Bella Fauntleroy checks back in with that left nostril plug. Dana Van Geitenbeek, the Stanford transfer, will stay in the game here for Baylor as Blackwell went to the bench. Here's Moore cutting through, can't lay it in, does get the whistle. Moore knocks down the first. 13 of 22 from the free throw line, missed nine free throws in a game that they lost by only six points. So far tonight, they are 7 of 11 from the line. Edwards jumper, rims in. Again, that's the spot. That's the spot to get to that. Here's Jones. Will the help come? Booker on the move. Slashes to the cup. Madison Booker at 20-point night as she labors on that injured hamstring. She just looked over at the bench and said she needed a sub, as she should. You saw her give all-out effort on the defensive end, and then same thing the other way. And her and Moore, who also is laboring through injury, have combined for 36 points. Texas is dominated in the paint, a plus 20. And they lead by 11 with 5.41 to go in this fourth as Booker is going to go back to be tended to on the ground behind the bench. And can Baylor take advantage? A much needed three there as Booker gets stretched out. Yaya Felder makes it an eight point game. Here's Moore. When in Tonda from the elbow. Sure. But this is when, if you are Baylor, you need to make your charge while Madison Booker is out of the game, been the most efficient and effective player for Texas all night. Edwards cups it up and in. And still plenty of time left in this game. As we have seen, there have been incredible runs back and forth throughout. This crowd begging for a Baylor one here. Holly might have gotten away with a double dribble there. Here's more deep catch and the strong finish. Edwards turns, can't hit. Rebound, went in Tonda. Ten point Texas lead. Booker remains on the bench. Poked away by Van Geitenbeek. Coming up with a key steal here for Baylor. Van Geitenbeek bounces. The layup is good, plus the foul. And a chance for three for Sarah Andrews. When in time to out, eight point game, Andrews can shave one more off the deficit. Does not. Madison Booker, 20 points tonight, 18 for Aaliyah Moore, which is a season high. Here is Moore, back to work, flips it in. It will not count. A charge is called against Moore. That'll be your fourth personal. Under three to go in the fourth. Van Geitenbeek sets up Andrews. Back iron, no, look good. Just a tad overcooked. Foul here. He's going to go against Felder. Texas in the bonus. Free throws for Booker. Schaefer said, I just need her to learn that it has to just be a plain hot dog. Just two turnovers tonight, and that is a big reason why they've got this lead. Edwards to the corner. Van Geitenbeek can't hit it. Two good looks. Last two possessions. Another one here for Edwards. No. And the rebound. You can throw it into the backcourt. Gonzalez grabs up ahead to Moore. Tend to shoot here. Booker eyeing the clock. Here is Booker. 
on the drive. Madison Booker can't finish it. And the rebound. Blackwell had it poked from behind by Booker. Texas controls and a foul. They're going to add to it here. And does. Just get it and go. And Jones hits. Van Geitenbeek has it poked away. 110 left. 12 point Texas lead. Blackwell gets fouled. And there's 7 of 30 from three point range. And yeah, there's another miss. That one is good. 11 point game. Gonzalez pressured. Certainly these are moments where Texas misses Roy Harden. But they break the pressure nicely there. Booker being hawked by Walker. Uses the screen for Moore. Moore off the delivery. Pushes it up and off. Jones put back is good. Just a great second half. Jones misses the free throw. Fauntleroy the rebound. 40 seconds to go. Van Geitenbeek on the drive. Lost it. Texas has it. Off to Booker and Nikki Collin asking for a trap, but no trap is going to make up this deficit at this point as the foul is called on Baylor. How about this? If this score holds, all 20 of Texas's wins this season will have been by double digits. Only team with a better point differential in Division One is South Carolina. And their three losses have been by a combined single digits. Yeah. Combined 13 points over those three losses. So double digits. <laughs> I understood what you were saying. You're saying each one of them was yes. single digits. Booker up ahead. Moore has it. Baylor will back off. And for the first time since 2009 and 10, Texas has won back-to-back -back games in Waco. 67-56 the final tonight for our producer Kerry Callahan, our director Jimmy Platt.